uh, go through this door, it's going to start the tutorial. Well, once it loads. Uh, just wanted to say I usually do those because when you start out in these uh, Bethesda games, you tend to be relatively weak at the beginning, and that ensures that you get some experience, do some things, and get some supplies that'll keep you going. All right, and off we go. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Sure, what do you want to know? Yeah, try to figure out the rest of what she can tell me before I start the tutorial train. Southeast of here is Prim. Can't miss it. Since it has the giant old roller coaster right in the middle of town. The NCR's got an outpost there. If you follow the road north, you'll eventually hit Sloan and Quarry Junction. They mine rocks or something, but I heard they got troubles lately. I wouldn't head that direction if I were you, though. Got critters up there that don't take kindly to getting shot. Well, I don't like being shot either. The new California Republic. Bunch of settlers and soldiers coming in from the west. Fixing on making Nevada their own. They can be right pushy, but the roads are safer because of them, so I tend to let it go. Not that I got a choice. Well, the wildlife for one thing, rowdy locals for another. They're protecting their own. Just happens to help us. They've been holding off this other group from the east, too. Got a funny name. Call themselves Caesar's Legion. Never seen them in these parts, so I couldn't tell you much. I hear rumors, that's about it. Supposedly, they keep slaves, and they got some real nasty ways of killing folks. But maybe that's just something folks in the NCR cooked up to make themselves seem more useful here. Less uninvited. Seems a little more reliable source of information than most around here. Around here, mostly coyotes and geckos. The coyotes are pretty dangerous in large packs, but otherwise, they're nothing to really worry about. The geckos aren't too tough, but they've got a nasty bite. I've heard about bigger, nastier versions out in the wasteland, but I've never seen them. Stick to the roads when you can, and steer clear of the hills north of Good Springs. The critters up there are big and poisonous. If you want to know anything else, just ask. I hunt geckos, mostly. The meat's pretty good, and I can always find a buyer for the hides. I also help keep the town clear of rat scorpions and coyotes. Not many people live in Good Springs, so wildlife is always creeping in. Not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. Hmm, the old guy told me there might be critters in there. If the lock's too much for you to handle, reading through the magazine might give you the edge you need. You'll need those to pick the lock. Be careful, though. Put too much pressure on them, and they'll snap. Always happy to help someone down on their luck. Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is the town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. All right, last option. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them.
That's the right idea. Look down the site. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Right. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. gonna finally try to kill something for real. I'm not sure why the dog stopped. Sprint to catch up a little. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos that clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Oh, I was sneaking that whole time. That's why I was slower. Okay, you're on. Go give them hell. Getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Sure, I could use the money. shoot at the percentages tell you how likely you are to hit him. I try not to use it that much because it kind of feels a little like cheating, but you're supposed to have this electronically assisted thing from the pit boy, so
Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you'd done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Alright, so I've gained reputation. Kinda works like there's a karma system for stealing and the plus minus, and then you have reputation with individual people too, that I think kinda goes to that different groups. So you can go all the way up to idolized or a little good and bad both directions it'll keep track and then if you are all bad you can get vilified I like to be mostly good and let's talk to her grab my little loot and hopefully she'll give me a little money now that was some good work even got a little exciting there at the end here's a little spending money for the trouble one more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Sure. All right, then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. And this must be the cemetery. I'll go on ahead to the farther one. Run up to the cemetery. Hey there. for the plus barter, and this one raises my perception, so I'll spot things from further off. So I'll stick with that. Oops. Keep pressing the wrong keys there. Somehow I need the console, which I didn't want to do. Sorry if I get a little mumbly, I've gone back to doing the recording of the voice live while I'm playing. And I have to talk fairly loud because I can't adjust the volume back up, but hopefully I'll get used to it. And up there by the water tower is the graveyard. Bunch of stuff up there.
stuck on the kill cam. Alright. Quit bobbing around. Kind of funny, later in the game when your skills are high and you're better at it, having scopes and lots of things that help out in the beginning when you could probably use all those things more you just have a simple bad gun uh, forget it I'm just gonna use vats oops Ooh, 27% I need to get closer maybe that'll help me in general just shoot regular did a good job of digging me out. Get some little meat off these guys. Some junk. Can use some of these for crafting or these little empty bottles are parts too. So. I need to hang on to that and find a collector who will pay for it. Well, maybe I'll just be a rich collector one day. I thought there was one more, but I guess it's not worth looking around for that much because it's just little gross fly meat. Uh, let's see, now where is that plant? Oh, here's a plant. There we go. Let's see if there are any more like that. It was kind of... orangish looking. A view out there that there's something. Oops. Yes, I want my character the way she is. signs. And let's see, it seems like there should be more than one of those plants around here somewhere. But maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. Huh. She said there should be some, so that sounded to me like there'd be more than one. But I'll do one more check, and if I don't find any Out here, maybe. All right, I give up. And now, looking back over the town, oh, you can see the little schoolhouse, a little crook of the tree there, a little red building with the thing up. It looks like a school. I'm going to go on ahead and run through and check and see if there are little mailboxes or anything like that in here with goodies on the way to the school. A lot of it's boarded up. It's going to be one of those magazines like the lock picking which you gave me. will probably be a little temporary boost to medicine, I guess, if it's physician. Yeah, I got turned around and was going back the way I came. And that's 
why they were empty. Strange things to have in mailboxes like toy cars and cups, but critters right here. Should switch weapons, let's see. Did I set my weapon hotkeys? I don't think I did. So this I can put my weapons where I hit buttons and I'll get them. So let's see, how do I do that? I need to I'll hold down the key and I'll make that one number one. And number one, I guess my pistol. Two changes the ammo if I have multiple types. Number two, my shotgun. Or three, my shotgun. Okay, this was the rifle that she gave me that I was using. Let's see, it's damage 18. Ooh, the browning. Oh, that's a pistol. shotgun somewhere. Oh, I guess I had. I had shotgun at four. So now shotgun's five, and I'll make the, the rifle four then. Alright. Okay. Oh. Okay, so there's a conflict with the pistol in one of the little mods that I use, that it has a bug. And so, it's just saying it's going to give me a copy that's really the same. Okay, somehow in all that, my little red indicators went away. There they are. Up on those little crosshairs, when there's red, that means there's a enemy. Oh, there, there it is, the little tiny bugs. Seems kind of wasteful to use bullets on them. Let's see, I have a machete. Put that machete on eight, maybe. Oh, and I'm glad I checked because my little pistol, since it changed it, is no longer one. Switch back to my little machete. Yeah! Ah, and there are the plants we were looking for. That was fast. Let's see if there are more around the outside or more bugs. Check out that safe in the schoolhouse. Oh, jalapenos. Nice. Is there a back door here? No, nope, I guess I have to go around the front. I guess I keep going the way I was going. And just in case, I'll go in there sneaking with my. Oh, I meant to have my machete out. Because maybe he was talking about the ones. Oh, there is one. Okay. Easy Pete told me to be careful of what was in here. So let's see if we can get all the way up on this thing. Yeah! Stuck 
on a desk. Oh, he was a giant one. Maybe they all were. <laughs> I guess for a bug, they are a giant. to it, so the computer is usually um, control the safes if they're right next to them. At least that's the way it was in Fallout. Wouldn't expect this one to be any different. Uh, let's see. I just run around and grab all my trash before I do the big exciting one, like saving the best present for last. What's that? Small burn book. That's only value one. A bobblehead stand. That's weird. I think one of my mods accidentally added that there. There's there were bobbleheads that you collect that give you stat bonuses in uh, Fallout. So they'd be like a bonus to your strength or perception. And I think they're got a mod that adds them. And usually in, in a player home, you have a display case where you can put them and it'll show your little bobbleheads. I'm not sure why they'd have it in a ratted out old schoolhouse because they certainly wouldn't want to live here. Is that a magazine? Yeah, another magazine. Okay. So did I loot this guy? Oh good, I didn't. Okay. So, I could do the safe by trying to pick it, and it says I don't have enough skill. So that's why she gave me the magazine, but I'm not going to waste that. Oh, there's another one. Programmer's Digest. I'm going to... I have a fairly high science skill, and that helps me pick the terminals. Now, these little mini-games, you actually have to do some of it yourself. And this is explaining how that works. Uh... You can't even attempt it unless you're high enough. Or just like I couldn't attempt the lockpick because I didn't have high enough. Uh, so you get four tries. If you fail on four, it'll be inaccessible until you find the password somewhere else in the game. But you can quit any time, but it'll reset. So you basically get three tries, and if you don't, everything resets. You get a fresh three tries. The way it works is uh, there'll be little words that'll show up in the middle of nonsense. And every time you click on a word, it will tell you how many letters you got right and how many were in the exact right place. So you can use logic to figure out um, what it is. You'll see there's this winding, cutting, cochise, contest, contact, content, concern. Anyway, each of these uh, will give me something that I can use that information. So I'm going to start out by using winding since it a lot of them start with C, and there are only a couple with ING, so if I wind up with three or more, I'll think it'll be an ING ending word. It's only one, so that can rule out everything that ends in ING. Everything that has more than one letter in the same place is out. Try contest. Make sure that's true. The third N is, yes, that's the only one. Oop, there are three in that. It can't be contact, it can't be content. And it can't be cancers because that would have only two. It could be concern. The C O N could be right. Nope. So I've made three guesses. I'm not gonna risk doing a fourth, so I'll do power off. And then try it again. Whoops. Get it with my machete. I want to activate it again. All right, let's see what we have here. A bunch of GR ones. Let's try. Ooh, there are 
four. So greeted, would that be enough new ones? That it have to be three different. Only the A and the N are different. Uh, so it can't be granted. Actually, maybe figure out which three and four that's in common. Let's see, R, E. No, that didn't make sense, huh? Terrible here. I feel like Gopher. He has a hard time with these mini games, and I usually face palm and make fun of him for having such a hard time. But now yeah, I'm doing just as badly. and it'll say disengage lock. And there we go. Clearance granted. Goes out of this. And let's see what I've got. Oh, nice. Stealth boy will help me hide or be invisible. Healing. A lot of money. Some drugs. Some pre-war money that I can sell for bottle caps. Uh, some smokes. Ooh. Cybernetic surgery. Goes to the Project Nevada that goes with that implant that I had. Gives me a quest to try to get an implant. Okay, so where was the door out? It's about to be front here. There we go. Oh, wait. Oh, this came out of. snow. There's Victor, our old robot friend. Howdy, partner. Okay, go on ahead and see if there's anything in your house that I want. Since you probably don't mind. Weapon repair, repair kit. Yeah, I guess 
I've hit my maximum weight. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right now, we're gonna be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Healing powder sounds good. That's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Yeah, she wasn't there last time. I'll go check that out. And in the meantime, let's see I can make some. Please do. Oh, these nice little food to eat. Kind of gross, but. And gecko meat. scale of the values is, but I need water, you know, so let's see, maybe I'll wait until we get somewhere out of the rain. Actually, another trick when I'm overburdened with this is to see if there are any items I can repair that maintain R in the upper right here when I've chosen something that will tell me when I've got stuff that will help repair it. Way five each, good. Maybe they just eat. Oh no, they play with the stack weight five, okay. No. I'll just deal with being slow. Oh, there's some more stuff to grab too. Turn this 
radio off because I'm paranoid when I'm done uploads to Google it doesn't recognize the song and it says that they're copyright songs. Tell you what, I am going to pause the video and edit this out. I'll be back when I'm at some more interesting. Okay, trudged up back to town in the general store. See if we can get rid of some of this weight by selling off some things. Howdy, you looking to buy some supplies? noisy generator you got. Can do. I only want one pistol. Hold on. I'm gonna back out of this first. And see here. Take it easy now. Machine gun. It's that Browning does 48 damage. Oh wait, 14 damage. I'm sorry. Oh, and then it does per second. Oh, okay. So wait, wait for it to flip. 48, and the pistol does 60, and it's in perfect condition. And the Browning's not. But uh, fair. Uh, okay, so maybe I won't sell any weapons. I can sell off the switchblade. And yeah, I'll sell off the switchblade. You looking to buy some supplies? Yes. Can do. that into rations, but, uh, I'll hang on to it since it's food. The magazines don't weigh anything, so no harm carrying them. And those are heavy eggs for those little bitty manises. Parts because they can be used for crafting. Um, this is light armor, and I'm just wondering if I start wearing armor. And I also have it's lightweight leather armor that's in perfect condition. I can use it to repair later. When you repair, you can use one item uh, to the condition of another, so maybe I'll save that, unless he's got some light armor that's cheaper.
pretty cheap because it's in bad condition. I'm going to go ahead and buy that. Do you have any of those aid repair kits? Let's see. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Take it easy now. Okay. Yeah, yeah we're still over in Cumberland. So, step two, I'm going to check out the little crafting inches over here and see if there's anything I could make that may wind up being lighter. I'm going to break down on ammo, and there's none I can make. Bench. Let's see. Hmm. Gecko hide belt. As well, uh, make these. Let's see, make seven of them. Ooh, that added 21 leather belts. That probably made it. Ooh, I can upgrade my implant. And let's see. I can make a tin can out of a vent tin can. <laughs> Ooh, a silencer. It's for an assault rifle, which I don't have yet, but may come in handy one day. And I think it moves to the top everything I can make. I know I did before. While I had it paused, I went over to the dumpster, put some stuff in. Let me check that out. No, nope. I didn't. This is the final way to get. Let's see what did I in here? No, oh, there's a wrench. All right, I'm gonna store some stuff in here. ammo later. And these parts. Oh, oh. What did I do? Oh, I accidentally took the stupid cases. Ah, uh, dummy. <sighs> Keep doing that. Accidentally hitting the button that I used to say all, that okay, A. Hey. also take all from
talk to Trudy real quick, and then probably break for the episode. Oh, got the gas tank. Hey! Hey, Pete. You got anything else to say? Probably. Howdy. You realize you're sitting right in a... Yep. ...gigantic, uh, tumbleweed. So grab that and move it out of your way. Hate to leave Pete. The tumbleweed weed blowing in his face, but he can't do anything about it. Alright, so let's see if we can find old Trudy. Is her old friend? Ah, there I'm she is. I'm done being nice. Uh oh. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. That didn't sound good. That didn't look good. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Yeah, well, I'm probably with what Sonny would do. Chain gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Okay. You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. I'm mostly good, but that may be my way. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Okay. All right. So the other guy's hiding out. There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Everybody talks about that. Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. The New California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. I know that uh, Easy Pete said she didn't like him. Let me check out here. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Okay. All right, I guess I'll... See, I'll keep asking about her. He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. 
If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Yeah, I like the idea of a discount. Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Uh, I just had to ask since it was an option, but I don't think I'd want to help a convict. Uh... Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Uh, the new Mr. New Vegas is the disc jockey on that channel and is Wayne Newton. I don't listen to it because I'm worried about YouTube getting mad about copyrighted songs. Uh, okay. I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. Oh, she didn't call him a him. It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. It is a little weird. Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. Hmm. He said he always helps strangers. It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Fine by me. All right. Let's see what got you a special got. discount for you after what you've done for us. I already got a discount. I didn't do it. I didn't do anything yet? Let's see. Ah, so she's as expected at a bar, mostly booze and some food. Okay, and I just sold off all the stuff I wanted to sell off. So. Be careful out there. Oh, I leveled up. Okay, choices, choices here. Um, I'm going to keep improving my repair. And I think my medicine. Got two left. as well get these to round numbers and with the uh, one left although I really want to do energy weapons I don't have that many uh, I'll go ahead and put it in there anyway oh and I get to choose my perk I can run with my weapon I could use tin cans to make ammo. Hmm. I do wear light armor. Oh, and I'll get hit less, hit them less. Could do damage against male opponents. Damage against female opponents. Oh, this is intense training. This is the one where I can raise one of those core stats, the strength, the perception, whatever. Short-term magazines last three times as long. Get additional experience points. I'm fine with leveling slow, so go ahead and take light touch. I think that's the best. The junk rounds is kind of appealing. And charge is not so much my style. Alright. Now I'm hearing music, but our radio is supposed to be broken. It's kind of silly. So I fixed the radio, but it doesn't tell me to do anything. Oh, I got the chemist perk, hand loader, computer whiz. Okay, those are all for getting to 50 and 60. I'm going to step outside away from the radio and uh, check out those new automatic perks that I got. So I got the stats and my perks. So chemist. Okay, uh, so any drugs or chems that I take will last twice as long. If I fail a hack attempt and get locked out, not if I'm a computer whiz. I can attempt to rehack any computer. Oh, good. So now I can do four tries if I'm as bad again at, at uh, hacking a computer. I don't need to stop at three. Uh, 
hand loader. Okay. I want to have all recipes unlocked at the bench. I want to check that out. That was sounds similar to that. Oh, the other one was tin cans. They turned down. Okay, and then these I had before. Okay. Quick before I end it, I'm just gonna run to see if I can craft any new ammo stuff up. Okay, so these are all making me have lead and primer and stuff I don't have. Okay. So uh, there's a cross off in the distance. When we come back, I'll head out to check that out. See if we can find somewhere uh, to sleep for the night or call home. It's 9 o'clock at night. Till next time.